SoftBank. The company that owns ARM and so many other companies has announced that they want to sell off their stakes on ARM to finance their loss from their other businesses. With ARM being the core architecture in so many smartphones, IoT devices and a lot more technologies, the entire chipmaker industry is going through a really confusing time. In our today's video, we'll look into the sale of ARM and who could end up buying it. Hey everyone, I'm Chaser and welcome to Take a Square. ARM, previously known as Advanced Risk Machine, originally a corner risk machine, was introduced in 1985 and is a family of reduced instruction set computing architectures for computer processors configured for various environments. ARM has been manufacturing its architecture and licensing it to other companies who design their own products including systems on chips, SOC and systems on modules, SOM. This chip designing company is currently owned by the SoftBank Group Corporation, a Japanese multinational conglomerate holding company headquartered in Tokyo. SoftBank owns stakes in many technologies, energy and financial companies including Boston Dynamics, Sprint, WeWork and have stakes in Uber and GM Screws. In 2016, SoftBank bought ARM for $32 billion and since then, ARM has only gotten more powerful. However, China's communist government owns 51% of ARM in China, while ARM is 75% owned by SoftBank Group and 25% by the SoftBank Vision Fund. After getting acquired by SoftBank Group, ARM was having a great time. With the demand for smartphones and low-powered computing devices on the rise, the demand for ARM chips increased in subsequent years. As of the end of March 2020, the total number of ARM chips sold exceeded 160 billion and the trends are unprecedentedly favorable for ARM holding, so it can very well be priced even more expensive. But recently things have gone from bad to worse over at SoftBank as the company got a hard hit in this current pandemic situation and has seen a poor quarterly performance of Uber and WeWork along with the bankruptcy of OneWeb. The company's share fell as much as 3.4% to 1,327.5 yen in Tokyo trading and its vision fund business lost 1.9 trillion yen. Now the CEO of SoftBank, Masayoshi San, has said that SoftBank is going to sell parts of its assets for $41 billion, including the ARM holding corporation, to raise money and pay down their debts. ARM architecture can be found on all smartphones that are being made every year. Let that sink it first. All the smartphones manufactured by every company is made using ARM's architecture. Chips made using ARM architecture are hailed for the low power consumption that manufacturers are even thinking of replacing Intel and AMD's chipset on their laptop and notebooks in favor of ARM chips. At WWDC, Apple announced that they will shift their entire Mac lineup from its custom ARM chips, so with ARM being up for sale $41 billion, the face of the smartphone industry could change forever. Things could get very messy real first. Before diving into that, let's clear up a few things. ARM does not manufacture the chips. Instead, they design the architecture and licenses their technology to chip designers like Qualcomm, Apple, Samsung, Huawei, and such. Every chip maker using their architecture pays the licensing fee upfront and collect royalties for each chip sold. With ARM being offered for $41 billion, now the face of the whole industry is on the verge of massive change. ARM could be in play would possibly have companies like Samsung, MediaTek, NVIDIA, Qualcomm and others are trying to explore an acquisition of the company. In 2019, Samsung unveiled an ambitious plan to dominate the global logic chip sector by 2030. So if one of Samsung's competitors succeeds in purchasing ARM, this could be a huge blow to the Korean tech firm, which pays royalties to ARM every year. As the acquisition cost of ARM is estimated to be around $41 billion, Samsung has seen as one of the potential buyers to purchase ARM independently and owning ARM could put Apple's business in a chokehold exactly where Samsung would like Apple to be. However, the Korea Times posted a report titled, Neither Samsung nor Apple will buy ARM from SoftBank. Samsung and Apple, both companies, are unlikely to license IP to other companies. Samsung's IP strategy is mostly defensive as they get patents so that they can defend themselves against other companies who try to use their patents portfolios against Samsung. On the other hand, Apple buys small companies for their IP but they do not license that IP to others the way that ARM does. So it is understandable that Samsung and Apple are not interested in ARM. Although Apple and ARM had a preliminary discussion as Apple being a major ARM client, Apple isn't planning to pursue a bid. 
ARM's licensing operation would fit poorly with Apple's hardware-focused business model, and there may also be regulatory concerns about Apple owning a key licensee that supplies to so many rivals. Because of the complexity surrounding this matter, SoftBank has hired Goldman Sachs to explore both an initial public offering and a sale of UK chip designer ARM Holdings. Meanwhile, neither AMD, Intel, Qualcomm, or Huawei has enough asset to acquire ARM and announce their dominance over others. So what can be done? The major chip makers, Apple, Samsung, Qualcomm, MediaTek, Huawei, and others could form a consortium to acquire controlling stakes in ARM. This way, nor one company can hold dominance or create its monopoly over using ARM technology. However, with so many opportunities, are there anyone interested in acquiring ARM fully? Multiple reports claim that the graphics and data center AI silicon powerhouse NVIDIA has expressed interest in acquiring ARM and NVIDIA has approached to buy the UK-based chipmaker ARM. This news might worry both Intel and AMD in terms of the CPU market. Although it is an alone in being interested in acquiring ARM, NVIDIA is currently an ARM licensee, but it is not a major competitor in the smartphone industry and NVIDIA's chips are sold on the strength of its GPUs. Roughly years ago, three companies were building x86 chipsets, NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. NVIDIA was, by that time, largely on the sidelines of the market with some enthusiast segment wins and SLI-centric motherboard adoption, but AMD and Intel were taking most of the business for their respective platforms, and it was common for people to argue that NVIDIA's lack of an integrated GPU would be the reason why it died. Although, as Intel and AMD ramped up their offerings, and one of the reasons why Nvidia chose to explore Tegra in the first place was to find new markets for its products and IP. Given that Windows now exists in ARM flavors, if Nvidia purchases ARM, it would allow the firm to launch itself back into the PC market with an array of systems leveraging ARM cores with integrated Nvidia cores. While licensing their IP to the chipmakers could also allow them to find some footing on the smartphone arena as well, while making a shitload of money for those foreseeable future. They could also bring their GPU technology to ARM's Mali GPU, allowing them to grab a completely new market. It is still unclear who end up owning ARM. If one company ends up owning ARM, that could mean the end of the smartphone chip business as we know it today. So it would be better for the whole industry if everyone owns a piece of ARM rather than swallowing up the entire company. With that, we are at the end of our today's video. If you like this video, then hit the like and share it with your friends. Comment below to let us know your thoughts, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this, and press the bell icon to get notified for our future videos.